I'm going to share with you how I figured out the HDR settings for Uncharted 4. And this game is crazy because it's trying to output 10,000 nits. <laughs> okay. So on this video, I'm going to show you how you can check for yourself, regardless of the display you have, how you can check the HDR range that your display can show you and the different tone mapping options that you may have on your display. And that is by using test patterns. I'm going to post on the description of the video the link to these three uh, videos. One is a black clipping. Another one is a, a white clipping that is going from uh, up to a thousand nits. And the other one is another black uh, white clipping that is going up to 10,000 nits. Okay. And what you want to do with this is you want to change from all your tone mapping options. So for example, you want to go to your, on this LGC one, you want to go to your uh, brightness settings, HDR tone mapping, and you want to change from HGIG to tone mapping on to tone mapping off. So by default, and you see here that we are able to show uh, up over 8,000 nits of separation here with this trick that I'm using. So by default, let me explain you what is the behavior by default. So if you have full RGB range on your GPU or on the console, on your PS5, and you have full on the TV, which is what you're supposed to do, <laughs> you use HGIG for games that allow you to set up the sliders or games that support the system level calibration. And what HGIG is going to do is going to do no tone mapping on the TV so that the content is already in range so your TV doesn't have to do tone mapping so the TV is going to follow the EOTF which is what determines the accuracy the percent the perceptual uh, quantization <laughs> PQ that's the accuracy of the content so HGIG is going to follow that EOTF ST2084 and it's going to hard clip at the peak brightness of your display, okay? And that's the best option. But these games don't have <laughs> sliders and they don't support system level calibration, this uncharted. So we don't, we cannot use that. So then you are going to see, if you use this white clipping test pattern, you're going to realize that HGIG is going to show you separation on this LGC1 until 800 nits. Okay, and that's expected. So now, if you use tone mapping off, that is actually not correct. So this doesn't mean HDR tone mapping off. So with tone mapping off, the TV is doing tone mapping and the target is 4,000 nits. So what that means, what the TV is doing here, specifically this LGC1, it is following that EOTF and it is starting to roll off at 250 nits. So it's following the EOTF at, until 250 nits. So that means that all the shadow detail and, and the mid tones are going to be mostly accurate. And then after 250 nits, it starts to roll off and the target is 4,000 nits. So what that means is that for the display to output its maximum peak brightness, which in this case is 800 nits, the content needs to call for 4,000 nits, okay? So 4,000 equivalents, 800 nits. And then we have this dynamic tone mapping, which is something that uh, the, the TV does dynamically, analyzing frame by frame, and it's a little bit more complicated. But at the end, if you see a test pattern, you will see that the separation is the same as dynamic tone mapping off. It's like 4,000 nits. So dynamic tone mapping is supposed to have three options. One, for 1,000 nits, another one for 4,000, and another one for 10,000 nits. So dynamic tone mapping off is the only option you can use if the content is calling for 10,000 nits. So on, on a game like this, Uncharted 4 on the PC or on the PS5, you're supposed to use full range, full range on the TV and on the GPU or the console, and use dynamic tone mapping. So this game on the PC has a minor black level of race. So I would suggest you to lower to fine tune dark areas, minus five, and use dynamic tone mapping. The problem is you do that 
and you still see clipping. So when you look at the, at the clouds, you see that this is going to be white, the sun is going to be too big, you see that it's clipping. And if you look at the reflection of the car, for example, it's going to be uh, white. So you cannot see the texture of the car. Or if you look at something like this, a building, uh, this light here is going to be completely white and you cannot see the texture of the building because it's just too bright. The game is trying to output 9,849 nits, so it doesn't work very well. So the trick that I am doing on this LG C1. So before I do that, I was saying at the beginning that this is going to help you even if you have a different display. I am posting the link to these three videos on YouTube. What you have to do is open these videos on HDR using Microsoft Edge. So make sure that the video is opening on HDR. And you're going to go through the tone mapping options that you have on your TV to make sure that to figure out what your TV can do. So maybe your TV has a, a tone mapping option that is able to show you 10,000 nits. So you see the separation until 10,000 nits. If that's the case, then you don't need to do this workaround that I'm going to show you. Just use full full and use that tone mapping option. Okay. If not, Here's what I'm doing on this LG C1. I have limited range on the NVIDIA control panel. So what that is doing, it is compressing the range. So I have NVIDIA control panel on limited. So that is compressing the range of the image, of the, of the source, okay? And then I have full range on the TV. So that is that means show the content as it is. So we are showing on the TV a content that is compressed, so that is going to show a black level race. So we have to get rid of that black level race. How can you figure out the black level value of your TV? Easily. You open that black uh, test pattern and you make sure that you have perfect blacks and that you see the perfect uh, separation, that you can see all the, uh, the grayscale. Okay? So in this case, on this LG C1, the value is fine tuned dark areas minus 17, okay? Or a screen brightness 46, fine tuned dark areas, let me double check, minus 2, minus 3, okay? So a screen brightness 46, fine tuned dark areas minus 3. Uh, no, that's for Uncharted. That's for Uncharted, I'm sorry. So it is fine tuned dark areas uh, minus one, a screen brightness 46, okay? That is the same as a screen brightness 50 and fine tune dark areas minus 17. I'm gonna have the settings on the link of the description. So what that is doing, what this is doing, is basically giving you the same near black visibility as full full on the TV, okay? So we are getting rid of that black level race. And now because that image is compressed, you have more space on the highlights so so i have to lower the on the game on this game this to minus 18 because the game has the black level race it has a minor black level race so now on the game you look at the highlights and you can see everything because it is compressed and because it is compressed i go to the test pattern to this white clipping test pattern and i am not supposed to be able to see this much up to 8,000. I'm not supposed to be able to see this separation with uh, full full on a TV. I'm only supposed to see until 4,000 nits, but because it is compressed, the signal is compressed, I am able to see almost the entire range. I can even see this 9,177 flashing. Okay, of course, on the video is looking blown out. So because of that, the game is not clipping, okay? The game is not clipping, so I, I don't see clipping on the highlights. I am able to see everything on the game. And that's it, as simple as that. So this is not technically correct, but the problem is the game is trying to do something that my display cannot show you. And this is the solution. So again, limited on GPU, full on the TV, fine-tuned dark areas, minus 17. In case of this game, 
you have to do minus 18 because the game has a minor black level race. Or instead of that, you can do fine tune dark areas on this game, minus 3, and screen brightness 46. And for full range games that don't have the black level race and they're trying to output 10,000 nits, uh, then it would be fine tune dark areas minus 1, the screen brightness 46, or just fine tune dark areas minus 17. So let me show you some examples before I end the video. Uh, so you see how it looks. Looks very good. Let me show you this. Uh, on this is cave. This cave here, we can see all the sh the detail. Of course, on the video it might look blown out. Here the game is trying to output 1,833 nits. Let's take a look at this. Also very important on the darkness. Here the game is trying to output. 71 nits because of this light but everything is visible on the darkness which is great we have another dark option here uh, another example here is 797 so we have this bright uh, hall here on the cave we can see this tree we can see the darkness here and I like a lot this example actually this is only 3 nits, <laughs> the game is trying to output 3 nits and it looks perfect on the darkness. I can see everything, which is awesome, only 3 nits, that's amazing. We have also on the darkness, we have this example here, 203 nits, that's probably the hood, where everything else is very dark and I can see everything. I also love this, this example here, where you can see very bright uh, particle effects that are on the on the ground this granite has this very bright uh, it's not a particle effect it's part of the texture of the of the ground and because this is all it is self emissive you see very very bright small uh, points <laughs> they are like nine pixels amazing and we have also I like a lot this example here where you can see uh, these ships in the distance. They are very bright. So the lights on the ships are very bright. That's awesome. 